Hey guys, and welcome. My name is NG Paradox, and we're here with our hero of the East, Daenerys Targaryen. We are still fighting the White Walkers off in the East in the Five Forts. Once they are defeated, though, we can head off to Volantis and free the slaves in Volantis, then head off to the other free cities and free the slaves there. We'll be the true breaker of change. We'll free all the slaves and be the hero of the East. And once we get to the Narrow Sea, we can sail across to take what is rightfully ours with fire and blood. Or what's ever left. Uh, we have to wait and see. Maybe Tommen can stop the White Walkers in the north, but have to wait and see. Maybe I'll have to save that as well. But it's going to be a fun adventure. Definitely taking a, a different turn to the TV show and stuff. But, <laughs> you know, in a way that kind of makes it interesting and different. Um, but yeah. <laughs> we captured uh, the Emperor... Perfect. Uh, even though we're meant to be on his side, technically. Um, that's okay. You know, he is fighting against us. We're kind of with him against the White Walkers and fighting against him with uh, Volantis. Let's chase that. Barristan. Where's Barristan? Barristan, sell me. You damn well get yourself back to me, you silly Billy. We want you to fight beside us to the end. Hopefully he gets over to Westeros. I would really love him to get there. But he is very old, obviously. I will be merciful, yeah. I don't really want him in there. I don't really want him in there, yeah, so it's not really bothers me. They're going to come down. Okay, let's go chase them then. After a long search, you find the fabled warrior. You've been looking for a local inn. Reeking of spirits, the old man is soundly asleep under a table. His sword is of an unfamiliar make, and the man's appearance certainly betrays his eastern origins. But could this really be the legendary fighter you seek? The innkeeper will not leave until someone pays his bill. Well, when it comes to Danny and sort of like her advisors and the people around her, you do notice what she does seem to ask a lot of questions. She does seem to want to listen and to learn things and get better. Now, she doesn't always take it on though. She doesn't always do what they say, but she does seem to ask a lot of questions. So we'll pay. We want to know what he has to teach us. Danny's tired of being protected by old men. She wants to learn to protect herself. As the old man struggles to recover from his hangover, you explain in a quiet voice. <laughs> that that's not Danny. Danny does not use a quiet voice. Your quest to improve your martial ability. You ask if he would teach you. He breaks into laughter <laughs> and winces Ooh, from the headache this produces. Then it dawns on him. You aren't joking. Very well, Daenerys San. I promise teach, you promise learn. I say you do. No questions. <laughs> I don't know what that accent was. He's a trap he's a man who's travelled a lot, you know, his accent has just taken on all forms. You have a deal. Let's see, so we're gonna take the white walkers on up here. Oh no. Jon Snow Died in suspicious circumstances. Well, I guess that's kind of similar to like the TV show and book. He was, you know, backstabbed by his brothers. But then again, I get, well, that wasn't really suspicious, was it? They killed him in the courtyard. I think they wrote traitor. And they're all shouting, for the watch! So I guess it wasn't really suspicious. But it's kind of similar. He was betrayed by them again. Maybe they blame him for the fall of the wall. So we'll never know his secret. Danny and John can never get together. I know a lot of fans... Want Danny and John to get married. It's a common theme for many fans. Personally, I feel it's too obvious. I wish it didn't happen, but I feel like it is the most likely thing to happen. I think especially on the TV show, it'd be more likely to happen. Um, but then again, I say, I usually prefer side characters, um, personally. That's just me. I've never been that fond of Danny or John. My studies and training have taught me the general tactics of flanks and center, but I can hardly master everything. What would Danny choose? To be a direct leader, a flanker, a battlefield terrain master, or a trickster? I think she would choose direct leader because cause she can ride her dragon. You can, you can imagine her kind of flying in on the dragon, front and, set, front and center, breathing fire across her enemies. I think that one, yeah. That one probably suits her the best. Okay, so they're going to escape the 14th of January to the 18th. Now, they were going that way before we couldn't get them. So I feel like if we cheat, maybe we could catch them there, possibly. Yeah, we should probably just go forward. I'm starting to think Sir Garrus might fancy me. So Garrus Drinkwater is you know, kind of stuck with us at the moment. 
Uh, his friend, you know, uh, the big man, went back, but he got stuck here with us. He's married to Ilaria Sand. She's actually with his father right now. So they're kind of not with each other. But I think you might fancy me. What would Danny do about this? See, the thing is, Danny, we know, would sleep with someone. You know, she does sleep with Dario and Harris, even though they're not married. So I guess it depends on if she likes him. Now, he is meant to be attractive. I think, if I remember correctly, in the book, she does say that if only Quentin looked like him, I think. Though he is older, but I think she does mention that she wished that Quentin looked like him. I think. I can't remember exactly, but yeah. He is meant to be attractive. So how about, I think she'd make a move. She likes an attractive, you know, brave and honorable, proud man. Yeah. Let's make a move. I went to Garrus' chamber and gave him a good tumble. It's good to be queen. Danny loves her boy toys. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess they're old. I'm not sure if they're if they're older than you. Do they count as a boy toy? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not a professional at this type of stuff. But Loris Tyrell has died in personal combat against the White Walkers. Another Lord Commander. First, Jamie the Kingslayer, and now Loris Tyrell. These White Walkers are not taking any prisoners. Can they hold on? And this girl just got Dutiful Commander. Okay. There's a few more days. It was 18th, was it? Yeah. Okay. Now go across. Yes, we caught them. Let's go. Come on, Barrison. Come on, hero. Let's be heroes, hero. Uh, his name confuses me. <laughs> Why that name? I don't know. The old warrior from the east has settled down in your castle. Well, I guess we'll say camp. Yeah, our camp. Um, and your training is proceeding well. One day as you walk into his room, you see the man trying to catch a fly with a pair of small wooden sticks he insists on using whenever he eats. You inquire why, and he explains, Man who catch fly with chopstick accomplish anything. What? <laughs> yeah, 50% uh, chance we get poor fighter. Did Danny get it? Danny, come on, you gotta listen to these people sometimes. Sometimes they say some good things. She obviously just doesn't believe him. She thinks he's crazy. She's thinking, God, why did I get this guy to come along with me? He wants to get married. Marriage, you please, yeah, we're not too bothered. She adopts a very authoritative tone with everyone, including her elders and you. Hmm, you can never be like me anyway. Yeah, I think Danny does not really like someone talking to her like that. She'll teach her to be proud instead. Defeat the White Walkers there. We're now at 75%. They're going to the Bloody Marsh. They're probably going to go to the Five Forts. So we're going to go there. And we probably should be trying to take back these lands from the White Walkers. Probably would be a good idea. Um, so we'll try and do that as well. Because how much war score does that give them? About 21%. And that gets very close to 100. So yeah. Let's go and try and take those out. You take a boat trip with your old warrior teacher on a nearby lake. As he fishes, you stand up in the boat and practice the moves he has taught you. When am I going to learn how to punch? You ask. The man rocks the boat, and you lose your footing, falling into the water. You resurface to his roaring laughter. <laughs> learn how punch after you learn how keep dry. You all wet behind ear. Sigh. Oh dear, Danny. Did you learn anything this time? You, <sighs> you kidding me, Danny. Danny, come on. You gotta learn something. So I've given up on you, Danny. <laughs> I've given up on you. Okay, we're chasing to here. Queen Daenerys. After listening to the advice of a group of my bannermen, led by Kojoko Joko, I hereby release the clan and other realms and obligations to my person. So now they're independent. I see. Okay, great. Good for you, Dothraki. And there we go. 77%. As dusk falls, after an intense day of sparring, you watch the setting sun from the castle ramparts together with your warrior mentor. I teach you many things, Daenerys-san, your mentor says. But most important lesson in fight is no get hit. The next morning your training concluded, the old warrior has departed your castle. No one saw him leave. We gain poor- Okay, so we, we do gain poor fighter. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> At least Danny knows how to fight if she needs to, but Danny, you wasted such a good opportunity. You silly Billy. But yeah, okay, we'll take these lands here. Looks like we've got to fight 
the Yaitai or Yiti or whatever you want to pronounce. Apparently I'm saying Yaitai wrong, but not really that bothered about it. Um, we're going to take that first. We're going to take the White Walkers after, but we have to do that. Ariane of the Dawn has declared Dornish Stepson's War of Emancipation. So she's attacking the Pirate King, Orain Valerian. Don't think I've talked much about him in this series. Um, the, pi the Pirate King, Orain Waters, is such a great example of how Cersei Lannister is so bad at kind of judging character. She kind of has this whole council of people, of people she feels she can trust because they're people she's brought up into their positions. So they kind of need her. And it's great because she trusts them. And they can... Most of them are completely inept. Like, Orain Waters or Orain Valerian, he's made, you know, master of the ships. And as soon as there's trouble and she needs these advisors, he just sails away. He just gets on all the boats and just sails out of King's Landing. Absolutely hilarious. And makes himself a pirate king. I love this character. <laughs> this is why I say when I love, like, the side characters, some of them are just great. Um, and, and it's also made it worse because, like, Cersei does never listen to Pycelle. And, like, is probably the only one she can actually trust. And he actually does say some things that make sense. But she won't listen to him because she thinks he's incompetent. And you can kind of see it. It's like a little car crash. Because it's absolutely... I love that. I don't know why. I just love it. Oh, look at that. The High Septon has just died, apparently. But Cersei Lannister is now known as the Distrustful. Are you kidding me? Really? People have only just thought about this. Ugh. I mean, I guess it does suit her. Oh. Tommen of the Iron Throne lost. What? I thought he was winning last time we looked. Let's have a quick look at what happened. What happened to the north? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't it say he lost? Wasn't that an invasion? What happened? Was he... Was that a Wolf of Dawn then? I'm sure it just said he lost. I'll have to... Maybe check on here. What did it say on here? Distrustful. No, I don't see it there. Point of commander. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, the Siege of Ironheart has been won. That's not it. King Tom and Maid, Robert, Warden of the East. Yeah, I don't see it. Huh. Ah, Tom and the White Walker piece of it. didn't say what it was. Okay, so apparently there was finished. Uh... The White Walkers have 5,000 men left. They're still up north. They still have the uh, the wall here. They're fighting the Gorge. They're fighting against Carlon the Blind. Yeah, he's definitely blind. 67 years old. So they're going to defeat them. There's a few people left up here. you got Stiv, one of the children of Halley's, who was slain by a White Walker. And you got him, White Tree, Sigon Seal Skinner. Okay, so they're the only ones left. And all of the beyond the wall will be taken. How are the Boltons doing? Mandalay. 53% in favor of the Mandalays, but Sans are in charge. 61% for Ramsey. And 56% for favor. Ramsey's doing an okay job apart from against the Mandalays. But most of his family have died against the White Walkers. If we go down south, everything looks kind of normal. Yeah, most things are kind of normal. What the, the Stepstones? What? Really? Oh, Rain Waters took over the Stepstones. Well, that's uh, an interesting one. How many men do you have, actually, overall? 5,000 men. How are you doing, Tommen? Who is your new Lord Commander? we got to check that out. That's the Lord Commander. Who's actually left? On the There's only five people left on the Knights on the King's Guard. And Boros the Belly is the Lord Commander. Oh. They've fallen on hard times if Boris Blount is the Lord Commander. We've got Balon Swan. He's, he's a pretty you know, capable guy. Uh, Osmond Kettleblack. We've got Merin Trant. And Talad the Tall. And that's it. Wow. They lost definitely their best members. But let's go back. Let's go back to... Oh, actually, we'll just check Marine. Okay, Marine is still safe. Yeah. Okay, we can go back then. So siege is let's use Balon. Um, let's use Drogon to take out the siege. Dracarys didn't defeat much there. Marine is suffering a devastating winter. My court is a charitable little rascal. He just gave his newest toy to the Smith's son. He's turning out well. Yeah, I think Danny would like that. We have to use Drogon again, aren't we? 
are the White Walkers declared Uther's third invasion of the north. Tommen has 16,000 men. They have 5,000. It should be in Tommen's favor, but I have to wait and see. So again, it's going. that war just is never going to end, is it? We need to get them and save everyone. It's the only way we have to defeat our enemies first. Drogon, Dracarys. I don't want to use him too much. I'm worried about him getting injured, but he seems okay for now. I've almost taken this one. Then it will go on to the White Walker places. We'll drive these savages from our lands, of course. Jonathan Silverhorse declared Silver Hall War for the Lord Kevin's claim on the Western. So it looks as though some people think that you know Kevin Lannister did a very good job with Tommen, and they feel it'll be better for the Westerlands than the crazy Cersei Lannister. She's become a drunkard, you know. She lo she's lost, you know, Jamie, the one man she trusted in this entire world. And Tommen probably doesn't speak to her much at the moment because Marjorie's got him wrapped around her little fingers. Oh, there we go. Um, who's actually in this war then? Hornvale, Goldentooth, and Lomont. So quite a few people. She could be facing a big problem there. She did just take, you know, she did just take part in a war against the um, the Greyjoys. So yeah. Come on, take the last little piece there. Okay, leave them be. Victory. So Barristan's the leal and able servant. Of course we need to reward him. And so the next ones are all the White Walker places. So this will affect the war score. So let's go. Okay. Deploy. Drogon. Dracarys. When you think about it, yeah, you know, I could be Azor High Reborn. Drogon was my Nisa Nasa. Nis Nasa Nisa, whatever you call her. And Drogon is my light bringer. You know, he's a weapon made of fire. We are the one, of course. He became a charismatic negotiator. This pleases me. Okay, he's got 17 diplomacy. Not too bad. Drogon, we need you again. Tommen is now known as the Young. Okay. We've lost a few more men. Only 7,000. It's going to be hard to take the five forts now. Intervene against the aggression. We'll order them to stand down. Of course, Rilobe. Thank you very much, Master Resnak Ulhur. Very good to know we can trust some people in this realm. I think I should use Drogon again, aren't I? Drogon seems okay. Um, Fair Isle just died of suspicious circumstances. Um, she just gave her newest toy to Smith's son. She's turned out well. I noticed that young Tezza seems to carry a lot of anger. She should learn some temperance. Dracarys! It's taken 85%. There we go. We're getting closer and closer. How is Drogon? Okay, he's still good. 21 Marshall, he's an absolute beast. And Aegon just had a son. Jacaris of Essos. Now, you know what? Depending on what you think about Aegon, obviously we, we think Danny doesn't trust him, but if you think Aegon is a Targaryen or a Blackfire or fake, when you see this word of Essos, that's what you can think of them as. If you think he's a Targaryen, it says Targaryen. If you think he's a Blackfire, it says Blackfire. Whatever you guys think. But Danny does not trust him right now. Do you need more? Command no, no commanders. We've got six thousand left. Okay, Drogon, we need you. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going, Drogon. Dracarys. Okay, wait for the pop up again. It's gonna burn these five forts down. It's the only way to save everyone. Okay, Dracarys. Leave them all here. Okay, ninety two percent. I think if we take the last one, that'll probably be it. I've lost a lot of men, only 5,000 men left, but it's worth it to save the world. Actually, how is Marine? Okay, Marine's fine. There's 9,000 men coming, though. So we might have to be careful. We might have to be careful of them bringing some more men up as well. If we can get back, if we can defeat them in time and get back very quickly, we can go straight to Volantis and destroy them. It's the only way. So we're going to need Drogon. Dracarys! And... Where, how old are my children? Eight years old still. Okay, we haven't actually got that far. What just happened? New Master of Whispers. Okay, we'll go... Oh my, my former husband, no, he does not like me at all. I don't think I trust him. Is there anyone I can trust? We'll have to go with someone then who... Oh, Miss Sande. She's really good at lots of stuff. But we're going to make our Master of Whispers because we can trust her right now. But that's it. But I'm going to have to end this part here with Miss Sande becoming Master of Whispers. I'll see you guys next time.